What's going on? It's me, Billy, back again with a new video. Um, today it's going to be a little different than any modding or anything like that. Um, although I'll be back shortly with video tutorials, but here today I got my Citizen Brick order uh, from Citizen Brick Day 7, and I'm going to do a little unboxing overview. So I hope you enjoy. Let's just dig in. Really excited to see. Um, first off, a lot of bubble wrap. Oh, hell yeah. All a couple extra stickers. Awesome. Can't wait to use these. Sticker slap them. We got Boogie, the shop dog. Hell yeah. Awesome. And these hollow ones, so fresh. Probably one of my favorite stickers they've made thus far. These are great. Ooh, even a couple extra. Just put these to the side. All the bubble wrap, very exciting. Try to take that out. I don't know. All right, I guess I'll take this out first. This was just a stud club reward that I got. Um, redeemed for the mug, the neutral face mug. Not exciting, just wanna get it out of the way because it's big and heavy. Oh, come on. There we go. Love this, I already have one. I drank from it every morning. Oh, well, good thing I opened it because that's like half the stuff in here. Wow, 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 okay. Um, I guess we'll start here then. This is one other stud club reward. I redeemed a couple stud club things. These I'll just push off to the side. Um, yeah, I guess we'll start with the mug. Wasn't expecting there to be stuff in here, but here we go. They used all the space possible. Oh my. All right. Nothing else. Here we go. Digging in. Right off the bat, we got a couple turds. Turd Ferguson's. Um... Yeah, really excited to have gotten so many. Um, I'm hooking up some friends with them who missed out. Didn't think that they would go so quickly. Um, so yeah, a couple, couple extra for trade. Um, same with these, the uh, Doomsday Enthusiast. I love these signs so much. When Joe released the uh, promo picture with these, I was hoping that they would get released and here we are. Um, apparently, under each figure, they have a different printed torso, so we'll go through and see what I got. Ooh, classic pad printed, very nice. And I'm so happy these come off. Uh, there's so much I want to do with these. Um, it, they're awesome. Such a great piece, one of my favorite injections so far from Joe. Alright, let's try and open these quickly to just see what torsos we got. Oh, Panda, very nice. Not sure how long this video is going to run. I might have to speed through things, but I don't think so. Should go quick. Ooh, love that. Love that with the XXI neutral. That's probably my favorite head. It's also one of the first heads I remember getting in from Citizen Brick. Super cool. I only have this torso on light pink, so it's really awesome to get, get one on dark pink. I also am a bit of fan of collecting the pink misprints as is going to become evident as I keep going through my haul. Um, awesome. And another pad printed with a different uh, ink color here. It looks like a red magenta. Very nice. All right, put these off to the side. Humongous from Mad Max. Super cool. Lord Humongous, sorry. Uh, I can't remember what the name was when Joe released them on the site. But these are really nice. Wish I could have gotten more, but um, potentially to mod these masks. The Jason masks are super cool. But this one is going to be going to TK1776 on Instagram. My friend Colin. He missed out completely, so definitely have to help him out with that. Super, super hyped to get this. The brain, just zombie food figure. Zombie. So awesome. I came into CB Day hoping to grab one of these on Light Flesh, saw it, was able to grab it. No better feeling than that with the matching head. So awesome. Another Sud Club reward here. I might have redeemed a couple of those. I don't remember. Oh, yes. Here we go. Mike D. Misprint from the Beastie Boys. Dark pink. Fill a torso with these light aqua legs. So crazy reddish brown face that's 
big reddish brown fan. I try to get all new releases that I can on reddish brown that if they aren't originally, so that's awesome. Here we got pink Jesus torso and legs from uh, the Bowling Buddies with, uh, I think this was a regular released head. Don't remember what it was called, but awesome head. I think since retired, so. Here we go. Ooh, the black reindeer. was. This was the first item I got on Citizen Birthday, actually. When an, another item I came into the event hoping to snag, and there we are. I was able to get one of the reindeers. These are super awesome. They look even better in person. These are really cool. With even different color injected antlers. Very happy about that. All right, that was all that was in the mug. So we got that off the side here. We'll continue on through the box. Gotta try and get rid of the bubble wrap. All right, let's take what these are. We got a zombie scout and two pedestrian zombies with the dogs. Super creative with these, it's such an interesting design. Not gonna take them out right now, but I didn't even notice from the photo that these have a nice little belt buckle design. So these legs are actually really nice. Didn't even notice that from the start. But this is a fun little pack. Very nice. Standard release. There we go. Zombie Scout. Long running Scout line from Citizen Brick. Super cool. I'm just noticing again, looking at it here, that one of the badges is like hanging on by a thread, which is super cool detail. Awesome. Can you continue through? Hopefully, grab some more exciting pieces this will go. Oh yeah, here we go. I was able to snag an all yellow mod from the Big Lebowski set. Bowling Buddies, as they're also called. Super cool. Doesn't have the uh, cloth piece like the standard release figure had, but you know, still a nice mess print. I could get another one of those. Here we go with pink smoky legs. So awesome. I really just grabbed this figure just for those. Um, bikini torso and the hard eyes is just a bonus really, but totally would have paid the 15, 20 bucks just for those, that set of legs. It's so fresh. <laughs> One of the more wacky pieces, just a bright pink Japanese soldier. That's a fun one. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to say about that. Just again, heavy pink theme. Over here, more of the standard releases, but even the standard release stuff just got, went out of stock so fast. Was able to get these dark gray and these uh, light pink plaid checkered. They remind me of just like some nice pajama pants. Hella cozy. I got ones that I actually wear in that color, so it's awesome. Here we go. We got the cowboy chaps. I picked up one of each color. I think since since today, only one of these is in stock anymore. I'm not sure which color, but these are all great. Definitely could make a nice combo figure with these. Oh, wow. And the backs are printed. These are really great. Lots of detail here. I really, really enjoy these. And here's the jacket, cowboy jacket. Back print. Really nice. And what I didn't know about these torsos, the biker jackets at first, until I opened it, they have a really cool design on the back here. Awesome. Really makes it like a biker patch symbol. Came out really nice. I bought a no smoking sign as, um, technically that was my first item of the day, not the black reindeer. I bought it just to test the checkout, make sure everything was working. My card worked. Had to double check. Didn't want any mistakes to happen. And fortunately this, there was no mistakes. Just a really really lucky citizen brick day for me here's another sticker pack from their stud club rewards and as we continue i'll take a break from the randoms and continue with standard releases we got wayne the block johnson awesome figure with the custom injected fanny pack super cool let me i'll open one of these right now Oh yes, not giving any regard for the card and packaging. Destroyed this work of art. Here we go. Super nice design, super simple, but I'm a big fan of the chain 
And I'm also happy to see Joe leaning into some meme culture making this figure. This is a great jeans design and not to mention the fanny pack. Super nice. I definitely want to try this, make it more like a tactical fanny pack. Put it with a military figure. Could make make it more of a crotch plate. Lots of potential there. Super cool. Alright. Sid Vicious, punk bass player. Awesome. Really cool injected guitar. Yeah. This is a really, really solid fig. It looks cool with the cheetah print. It's a nice jacket. Interesting face. Really, really nice. Norwegian black metal enthusiast. Back with the version 3. I only have the version 2. I was never able to get my hands on the version 1, but I'm still hunting. So maybe one day. I'm also hoping to get some of the misprint heads from the head crates that I open. But we'll see. Maybe I'll get lucky. Maybe I don't. Botany enthusiast. Another version. What is this? 8, 9, 10. Who knows? There's so many. Really, really nice color scheme though with the lime and blue. It's very nice. It's a bit simple. It's on the simpler side. But I believe this bong is glow in the dark. So, no way I'm going to see it right now. But I believe it's glow in the dark, which is cool. I'm happy to see him printing on overmolded Lego parts. It's really nice design giving them the swim trunks. It's very nice. Alright. Let's continue with the box. We'll open take a look at the last couple carded items. It's just more Dwayne the Block Johnsons. I didn't know how many I bought. Um, I just kept clicking. And now I guess I have four. So here we go. And another Norwegian black metal enthusiast. Definitely want to keep some of these Keep one carded, one opened. That kind of collector deal, you know how it is. Alright. Coming down to the last bit of the box here. Four more misprints. Again, I don't know if I even emphasized it enough earlier, but this is one of my best Citizen Brick hauls. I got really lucky with all the pieces I grabbed. And here we go. Light pink Colonel Sanders. Brand new design with the white print. If you notice on the old version 1 torsos, um... There was no white print because the original kernel is on all white. So Joe never, they just did all black pad printing. So for reprinting the version two to make sure the misprints came out a bit nicer, more popping color, they added a uh, white into the pad. It's awesome. Here we go. One more Beastie Boys figure. Super awesome. Again, when I was just... When I was hunting for figs, I just found whatever was brightest, and that ended up being basically all pink, but I'm not going to complain. It's like a little speck of something on the torso. I'll clean that off later. These are really nice. I don't know the color of this blue, but it looks super cool for the jeans. Very bright, but just having fun, you know? Number 1405. Awesome. 1380, we got Jason with a pink, dark pink torso and light gray legs, both misprint colors. Super sick. I didn't even think I was going to get this one. This was a bit later into the cycle of the drop and I was able to grab it. I was super stoked. Definitely wanted to grab a misprint Jason this go around and it worked out for me. One last Beastie Boys right here. Super cool. Dark, uh, dark tan legs. It's super useful. Super useful with the nar the nougat. Uh, or maybe this is dark orange? Dark orange, yeah. Love the color. Nothing, not much more to say. It's just a super solid figure. Coming down to the bottom here. Last two things. We got the pin. Citizen Brick Day 7, June 27, 2020. With the medical mask. Super nice. I have a bit of a pin collection have all of them up until now and now this this completes it and i redeemed one more thing for stud club which was the stud club shirt which i haven't redeemed yet so that's cool i don't know if i'll actually wear it i saw a couple people have tie-dyed them uh namely ferg artifice 12 on instagram so i might try that out it came out really nice and so i mentioned the head crates before um I didn't show any because here they are. 
I got 35 head crates. 35. Um, got very lucky with that. I kind of just, I kept on going. I didn't stop and kept on buying them. It is a bit much. I didn't realize how many it was until the event was over. But yeah, now, now this is my life. I have 35 head crates. I'm going to do a second video highlighting just these head crates, just opening them. So I hope you enjoyed, you know, leave a like, comment, share, um, and I'll see you in the next video where we open up all these bad boys.